Hello everyone and welcome to the 8 Weeks to a Healthier You Challenge. Congratulations on completing week 1. We hope everyone is motivated and feels ready to tackle the next 7 weeks of this challenge. Week 2 of the 8 Weeks to a Healthier You Challenge is all about portion control at meals. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight is not just about knowing what to eat, but also how much to eat. A lot of times we find that we are eating the right foods, but just not in the right portions, making it difficult to lose weight. The simplest way to watch your portions is by using the balance plate model. This model is very easy to follow and you do not need any special tools or resources. Simply fill half of your plate with vegetables, a quarter with carbohydrates, and a quarter with protein. Now let's talk about each of these sections in a little more detail. Carbohydrates are your body's preferred fuel source and include foods which contribute sugar or starch to your diet. Items such as rice, bread, pasta, cereals, roti, potatoes, corn, fruit, milk, and yogurt contribute to your carbohydrate intake. Foods such as cookies, pop, chips are also sources of carbohydrates, but they are not considered healthy as they are full of sugar, fat, calories, and offer little nutrition. Try to keep your carbohydrate intake to a quarter of the plate or one fistful if you are having foods such as rice or pasta. Do not buy refined or processed grains or carbs to ensure you get as many nutrients as possible. Moving on, a quarter of your plate should be filled with protein. Now protein is crucial for the repair, maintenance and building of your body cells and tissues. Protein is also great because it keeps you fuller for a longer period of time. If you are a vegetarian, it's even more important to ensure that you're getting enough protein with all of your meals. Some vegetarian sources of protein include lentils, sprouted lentils, legumes, tofu and soy, TVP or textured vegetable protein, nuts and seeds along with their butters, cheese, eggs, and tempeh. If you are not vegetarian, you can enjoy all of these foods, plus lean meats such as fish, turkey, and chicken. If you choose to have other meats such as beef or pork, choose the lean or extra lean variety. The protein serving at your meal should be about the size of a deck of cards or the palm of your hand. The largest component at lunch and dinner should be vegetables as they add bulk to your meals and fill you up without adding a lot of extra calories. Try to fill half of your plate with a variety of colorful vegetables to obtain an optimal amount of vitamins and minerals. Include approximately two handfuls of vegetables at lunch and dinner. Just be careful of the amount of dressing or fat or oil that you add as this adds a lot of extra calories which you may not be thinking of. Coming back to the plate model as a whole, remember it includes half a plate of vegetables, a quarter of a plate of carbs, and a quarter of a plate of protein. Keep in mind that it's difficult to get vegetables in the morning for breakfast, so at breakfast try to include both carbs and protein at your meal. The size of the plate is important as well, so try to use an 8 inch plate when you're eating. If you eat from a larger plate, your intake will surely increase as well. Remember that you can add a serving of fruit or milk or yogurt to your meals to ensure optimal nutrient intake. Now let's look at some real life examples. In this plate, we have oatmeal served with half an apple and almonds and the other half of the apple is served on the side with some peanut butter. This plate is balanced because it has carbohydrates, which is the oatmeal as well as the apple, and it's served with the protein, which is the peanut butter and the almonds. Together, they will keep you full for a long period of time so you will not be tempted to snack in between your meals. Let's look at another example of a balanced breakfast. Over here we have scrambled eggs with toast as well as berries. Again, the protein comes from the eggs and then the carbohydrates come from the bread as well as the berries. Another example of a balanced breakfast. Moving on to lunches and dinners. Now we see that there's vegetables which are present at the meal as well. In this example, we have half a plate of steamed broccoli, 
a quarter of a plate of chickpeas in the bowl, and then a quarter of a plate of rice. Another example is this flavorful meal in front of us. Half of the plate is filled with a salad, a quarter of the plate is filled with quinoa, and then another quarter of the plate is filled with grilled chicken pieces. Now that you understand the balanced plate model better, it's time to set a SMART goal for yourself for this week. Think of your current meals and the balanced plate model for healthy eating that we just discussed. Where does your diet fall short? Maybe your carb portion fills up more than half of your plate instead of a quarter of your plate. Or maybe your carb and protein portions are healthy, but you rarely eat any vegetables. According to your own goals, your SMART goal may sound a little something like this. Over the next seven weeks, I will ensure that at least six meals every week follow the balanced plate model. Remember, SMART goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and realistic, and timed. We wish you all the best and we wish you success with week two of the challenge. Here's to a great healthy week ahead.